All right. Two episodes in one day. Did it get better? It is Margaritas with Margarita Chang CFP Pro. I'm Hope Katz Gibbs, producer of the show here in beautiful Santa Fe. Rita is in DC. And Kate Luzio, our guest, is in New York City. So we're all over the country today. Kate <laughs> is the founder and CEO of Illuminary. I cannot wait to learn more about this amazing company. So take it away, Rita. Well, thank you so much. So first, I just am going to scoot over because I want everyone to see that terrapin in the background. So I am so, Kate and I have a lot of terrapin pride. And I know Kate is going to talk about that because we both serve on the University of Maryland Alumni Association Board of Governors. And this podcast is the opportunity to um, invite Kate, fellow TIRP alum, to just share her story. So this is all about you, Kate. Share with us the inspiration behind Luminary. Well, so good to be here and always love to be with other TIRPs. As you know, Rita, I'm a massive TIRP fan and now obviously on the board but I've been engaged since I graduated in 1997. Uh, so I was a banker for a really long time, almost two decades. Before that, I was in tech. And uh, on the side of my desk of running big businesses and big P&Ls and global organizations at places like J.P. Morgan and Bank of America and HSBC, I was very passionate about diversity and inclusion and certainly around gender representation and women. And on the side of my desk, did funds around internally for women at the firms that I worked for and making sure we were investing in the pipeline and giving opportunities and obviously compensation, et cetera, and realized that we weren't investing earlier and we needed to be doing it more often. And it wasn't just the same with the organizations that I were working for and they were large, it was all industries. And we kept hearing the statistics and the fact that women were hitting the glass ceiling falling off the glass cliff and I can't get further and I'm having, you know, it's not just because we're all having children. And I realized that as a woman in corporate America and someone who had been very focused on my own career, but also in investing in others and mentoring, that I thought we could do this in a better way and do it where it's not just one organization in one industry, it's all industries, all levels, but also broadening the fact that the number of women starting their own businesses is incredible. Pre, pre the pandemic, it was 1,800 a day. Um, and that has actually risen over 20% since 2020. And then you have a lot of women. The pandemic has put a lot of women um, out of work. Five million to be exact, exact left the workforce in 2020. Um, and though women are starting to come back, one in three women that left are still not working. And so I really change the way we think about investing in the pipeline and thinking of the whole woman versus just one aspect or one type or only senior, only millennial, only entrepreneur. And so Luminary was um, launched in the beginning of 2019 to bring women together without excluding men, which is very important. Um, male allies are incredibly important and critical to our journeys no matter what we're doing. Um, and so we do that through programming, content, and community. And we were only 14 months old that when the pandemic hit. And I, we were originally, Rita, as you know, a physical location in New York City that's where I'm based, which was amazing. We ran all of our events and workshops in the space, pandemic hits. And what we realized was actually this was a unique opportunity. Everyone was online. So it no longer, we no longer had the barrier of being just in New York. Now I could reach women from everywhere in the world. We work with companies around the world. And we've now grown to having members from New York and New Jersey and Connecticut to members in 35 countries and all tied to this idea of community and connection and content for upskilling, leveling up, investing in ourselves. And we work with not only individuals, but also with big companies as they are looking to invest in their diverse pipeline to make sure they're getting same access to opportunities um, that our white male co peers are. And I just want to say, I'm a member. I'm a yes, virtual member. Yes. So when I found out that there was virtual memberships available, I was like, you know what? I want to be a part of this. And then I met you. 
So congratulations. I know it's not been easy, but you have 3,000 individual members, Thanks but then now. you're touching the lives of 500,000 employees through your corporate members. Is that yeah, right? That's right. And we're actually now, I think, close to 6,000 individual members. Major, I would say 95% of those are women, but we, uh, we're we getting a bigger um, uh, universe of men and male allies joining, especially within the companies that we work with. They also, it's a great opportunity, Rita, to educate them, to make them aware of the other challenges that face women and underrepresented communities. So it's definitely been uh, a very hard two years in the pandemic, but like I said, silver linings. And I think what I'm most proud about is the impact and the impact that we're having. And I should have mentioned um, when I, I had never thought about being an entrepreneur, never thought about you know, running my own business. So this was really a ripping the bandaid off. I wrote a business plan and I decided that I would self fund the business. So um, no investors, it was just me. And I wanted to make sure that we were creating the right uh, community that was intersectional, multi generational, diverse, and inclusive. And Absolutely. I get the email, the daily digest, if you will, <laughs> it with the yellow. And it's yeah. just, it, it, it's so exciting. There's so many offerings. So um, congratulations to you and your team. I haven't been to the physical location in New York, but I still um, but you will. feel you like will. I'm connected. On, and we're going yes. on the road. To, so we'll, we're hitting 10 cities this year in the U.S. And D.C. is one of them. And we want to meet our members that are in those cities that that came and joined, obviously, throughout the pandemic, and also bring them opportunities for in-person programming and content and networking. Um, even though we'll always be a virtual plus an in-person uh, community because of the way we're all working hybrid now. But it's an opportunity to meet our members in many cities, and they're hopefully so absolutely, let's expand upon that a little bit. I feel like it's your concert. It's your book tour. Yeah. So um, <laughs> when does the uh, tour officially start? I think it's already started. And how many cities and how long? Yes. Yeah, so uh, we actually will hit our first tour stop is Nashville on April 20th. We actually then come back to New York uh, and we'll be in Harlem. We're setting up in Harlem. We have a lot of particularly business owners Harlem uh, and New York area. So even though we have a physical space, we're doing another physical space in Harlem. And then we'll be in DC in May. Then we go to Boston in July. And then we'll hit uh, Dallas, Austin, Houston in September, then Chicago and LA in October, and then likely Philadelphia, Miami, Chicago in November. I'm so impressed how you just rattled that off. So we <laughs> need to have a game. Where in the world is Kate Luzio, right? Yeah, it's like a we 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 joke. I need a, we need a van, right? Like going on tour. But uh, and and what's amazing is that a number of our corporate members and partners are jumping on the tour. So J.P. Morgan Chase, Verizon, Speed, ADP, Walmart, um, and they're really getting involved because they want to bring content to women that are part of our community, to particularly business owners and entrepreneurs that are needing those resources, but more importantly, just bringing women and again, and female allies together uh, to make sure that we have the opportunity, we have the access and that we're taking all the necessary steps forward. Absolutely. So I always talk about my A's. It's awareness and access, right? Love and so as mentioned, this is, you're the star of the show today. So you have this opportunity to share what memberships are available and how people can be part of the community. So we are all about access and awareness. And we, ever since the day we opened, we've never had an application process. A community, in my view, doesn't create a barrier to entry. It actually breaks them down. So we started with no application and we call ourselves a join now membership, in, uh, in, inclusive membership community. Um, memberships start at $49 a month, um, all the way up to $299 a month when you're physically in need of a space in New York and you want to actually utilize that. We have a 20,000 square foot space in New York City. It's got conference rooms, and meeting rooms, and a rooftop bar and restaurant, wine on tap. Uh, but it's a great place to come together. 
$49 a month for thousands of hours of digital content to download, plus up to an upwards of 40 workshops, events, um, and sessions every single month. And then obviously a member directory. Um, we have an incredible perks program. We have a marketplace for women businesses that you can shop from. So we're trying to really continue to create our ecosystem. And you can find us at weareluminary.com. Our, that that's our same platform across social at We Are Luminary on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. Um, but we're we're excited to continue to expand, but also really, you know, make sure we're delivering impact. That's so exciting. I am a member, but I know I haven't necessarily utilized everything that's available. But I was just so excited to be able to access it on a virtual basis. And then meeting you at the Board of Governors meetings, Women's History Month, entrepreneurship. I'm like, Kate has to be our guest. <laughs> so we're so excited to have you. Um, what, I guess, would you, uh, what makes, I, I mean, I think you got this before, but there's lots of like communities, but what makes Luminary special? Yeah, I, I think, listen, I think one of the things that we really preach about is collaboration and competition. And there are millions and millions of women who need support and color. And so we really believe communities can work together versus needing only one organization uh, to succeed. So we work with tons of women organizations because that one plus one equals three. I think our biggest differentiator for us is that we work with both individuals and companies. We also bring together business owners and entrepreneurs and founders, as well as women in transition. So you are really creating an ecosystem of women supporting women, uplifting, upskilling, and propelling each other forward. And the fact that we've got all of this programming that's live. And when we say live, it means it's not webinar. Everything is available to engage and ask questions. It's even on a Zoom, it's extremely live. Um, and this goes back to this inclusion, inclusion and diversity. Um, we're very proud of the fact that more than 45% of our members are women of color, um, that our age range is from 18 to 81. And when you look at the representation of, again, industry, background, expertise, it is by far, I will use the word overwhelming because we can find someone in our community that can do everything. Um, and we like to say there's a program for everyone. So whether it's mental health, to NFTs, to professional development, to understand a reading a financial statement, everything that we do is all about giving you that education and tools to propel you forward in whatever professional journey you're on. Awesome. I love that. I am so inspired to learn even more. And like I said, I made a list of things I did in 2020 and 2021. And one of the best things I did was join Luminary. Um, so now back to you, Hope. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, ladies. Wow, Kate, that is just fantastic. Um, in fact, it is Financial Literacy Month on my magazine, Incandescent Women, and you are featured. And as soon as our producers polish up our video interview, we will we'll post it there. So really incredible what you're doing and how you've done it all by yourself and how it's so humongously successful. Congratulations. Well, we have, I have a great team, Hope. So um, I am the founder, yes, but there, you know, founder doesn't work alone. I have an incredible team behind me and um, we're not only here because of me, we're here because of them and we're here because of our community and for members like Rita. Yeah, awesome. Well, hopefully you will attract thousands and thousands more thanks to Rita. And it's always about the community. That's how women roll, right? We do it together. Got it. So thank awesome. You. Well, thank you both for spending some time today. Happy hour on Margaritas with Margarita Chang, CFP Pro. I'm Hope Petz Gibbs, producer of the show. And we will see you all next Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks so much. Take good care. Bye. Bye, Rita. Bye. Thank you so much for being part of our Incandescent Radio and TV family. This is Hope Katz Gibbs, founder of Incandescent Incorporated, the PR and publishing company for women entrepreneurs. Our Incandescent Radio and TV shows are brought to you by our advertisers and clients. Margaritas with Margarita Chang, CFP Pro, brings us 15 minutes of tips 
every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Live, where you'll meet experts who are helping us flex our financial muscles. Find all of the episodes at margaritachang.com. You'll also meet intuitive psychotherapist Kara Keem, who interviews therapists and other intuitive guides from around the world. Learn more at karakeem.com. And you're going to love social justice expert Karen Hanrahan, CEO of the San Francisco-based Glide Memorial Foundation. She bridges the gap from local impact to global change on her thought leadership show on Incandescent Radio. Learn more about Karen at karenhanrahan.com. You're also going to love Alina Liao, founder of the radical wellness journaling company, zenitjournals.com. Alina asks, have you tried to journal but found it hard to keep up? Then it makes it easier to journal for your wellness. With Zenit, you can customize your journal with prompts that speak to you. No more blank pages. Your Zenit is your personalized space to take care of yourself. Website, zenitjournals.com. Feel it, write it, send it. You'll also meet amazing Tracy Schott, founder of Voices for Change. Tracy is determined to change the world and end domestic violence. Learn more at voicesforchange.net. And we are so thrilled to be publishing a book for Angela Mitchell, who is the tech expert of case management. And she's also the founder of this fabulous organization, Kids Code 2. She is determined to teach kids to code computers. Talk about teaching a kid to fish. We invite you to discover and peruse all the Incandescent Incorporated websites, the magazine for women, by women, about women, incandescentwomen.com. Our health and wellness magazine is Incandescent.com, the business of mind, body, spirit, soul, and heart. Our YouTube channel is incandescent.tv. And you can learn about our PR and book publishing services at incandescent.us. If you'd like to have your own radio and video show, check us out at incandescentradio.com, where you can see what we can do for you. These podcasts are also featured on iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Our podcasts are produced by Brandy Wilsker. Our videos are produced by Nelson Benitez. Our website developer is Max Tukoy, and our incandescent illustrator and designer is Michael Glenn. If you'd like to learn more, please send me an email, hope at hopegibbs.com. Here is to your incredible, indelible, incandescent success. Much love and may.